a USB socket that was sent to me by a friend called Robert who used it for a while just to power strings of LED lights under the stairs just for ambient illumination. And when he was redecorating, he took it off and when he reinstalled it, it wasn't working. And then a while later, flames started to come out. The Well, sparks started to come out these ports, apparently. Um, now, this is a British General socket, which I would normally associate with good quality if it's a real one. So it'll be interesting what's happened. I'm also interested to see if anything from the decorating has gone down inside and formed a conductive layer. Who knows? So there are four screws here that I'm going to take out and two rivets. I'm going to pause momentarily to drill these rivets out and I'll take uh, a couple of screws out, but I won't continue until the video is rolling again. So one moment, please. And resume with an extra sticky plaster because I noticed that uh, once I drilled the rivets out, this was able to come out, out of the front plate. So I popped a screwdriver underneath and somehow managed to drive it skillfully across. Uh, is this the skid mark here? Not sure, but uh, through a hole in the faceplate and then into the hand. It's a minor graze. I have engineer grade auto repair. It will be fine. I just put the sticky plaster on to protect the squeamish from the sight of blood. Not that there's much blood. And it'll heal up very quickly. I'm not bothered. Cutting yourself is a daily occurrence. Well, I mean, the older you get, the less it happens. Right. Let's open this up and reveal where it's been smoldering. Mm hmm. There's the switch contacts. Here is the module. Let's zoom down in this so you can actually see what's in here. I shall just take everything out. That's probably the best bet. But this module here is what we're looking for. Is it glued in or is it uh, screwed in? I don't think it's screwed in. I think it is just squished into a tight space. Uh, it looks as though there's been a bit of a kaboom in the back. I don't see any traces. Oh yes, that's splattered big time. It's gone kaboom. It's got this uh, thermal material in the back. Press it into the circuit board, presumably to couple it into the back there. It's a very sticky material and it has definitely exploded. Uh, do I see any residue of stuff that may have got in to initiate that? And the answer is, to be honest, I don't. I think this is just a natural random failure. I see a bit of sootiness around this MOSFET as well. Yeah, I think that's just been a... a Standard failure, and as happens in these things, when they go bang inside, the flames can... When there's a flash, it tends to find its way out any orifice. Uh, in this case, it may have come out that I don't see an awful lot of scorch marks around here, so it doesn't look too bad. And as with the uh, British General stuff, I mean, there's good separation there, as I'd expect from them. And it's got the uh, double insulated uh, windings in the transformers, potentially even triple insulated. Where's the diode? There's the diode. Um, so it looks as though it's just been a random failure that it's just decided to pop. And uh, something's definitely blown off here completely. I'm not sure what was there because, well, it's not there anymore. It is just a big skid mark. Let me just get a magnifying glass so we can take a closer look. It is just components under there, just discrete components. It's like resistors and capacitors and things that have flashed over. So I don't think it's been exacerbated by any external influence. I don't think anything's gone into it to make it blow up. I think it has literally just blown up of its own accord. I guess that's what happens. But there's this situation again that you've got your USB outlet on the wall and it's just malfunctioned and spat flames out and just sitting there in that burnt state inside. And, uh, well... That's the point at which really you want to turn the power off to, to you know, if it was a plug-in one, you'd immediately unplug it. If, um, if you could do that, uh, sometimes they blow the lids off the plug-in ones. But uh, in this case, it's built into the wall. So I wonder how many things like this are sitting in people's walls, just basically tracking and occasionally sparking in the wall. But they can't do anything about it because uh, to do so would require getting an electrician in to actually change it. And they may not be in the position to pay you know, for the cost of getting in someone in to do that. 
It's this thing that in the future I see people having to do a lot more electrical work in their homes themselves. But that's the way it's going. So I can't really 100%, well, it, it's not been damaged by ingress. I think it's just a natural failure. Um, and that is it. 